up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about ethical considerations when it comes to artificial intelligence so let's get into it all right so you've been learning all about what ai is what it can do and how it's showing up in your daily life from your social media feed to your phone's face unlock feature and all that stuff sounds cool right but now it's time to ask a much deeper question just because we can build it should we so artificial intelligence isn't just about algorithms data and cool tech it's about decisions and those decisions whether made by humans or machines they come with real world consequences and that's why ethics and ai is such a big deal we're not just talking about science fiction scenarios like killer robots or world domination we're talking about issues happening right now like ai making hiring decisions predicting crime or deciding who gets the loan so let's dive in and talk about four of the most important ethical pillars in ai that is bias fairness transparency and accountability now this isn't a lecture it's just a real conversation about what's at stake in the ai powered world we're building together before we break down the big four let's quickly cover why ai ethics is such a hot topic well ai is already making or influencing decisions that affect who gets hired or fired who gets approved for a mortgage or a loan what news you see on your social media feed, whether you get stopped by police in a predictive policing system, or how your medical treatment is decided. Now, if those systems are flawed, biased, or lack oversight, then bad things can happen. And people can be unfairly treated, excluded, or even harmed. And the worst part, they might not even know why it's happening. So let's break down what's really going on behind the scenes. All right, so let's talk about bias in AI. So biases in AI happen when an algorithm produces results that are systematically unfair or discriminatory. And this is often because of problems in the data it was trained on or how it was built. And here's the kicker. AI doesn't create biases on its own. It learns from data created by humans. So if that data reflects real world inequalities or stereotypes, then guess what? The AI learns those as well. So here's a real world example. We have facial recognition. So facial recognition systems have repeatedly been found to perform worse on people with darker skin tones, especially black women. Now, why is this? This is because the training data often included mostly white male faces. So the system wasn't as good at recognizing faces outside of that group. Now, that's just not a technical problem. It's a social and ethical problem with real consequences like wrongful arrests or denial of services. And here are some other examples of biases. So you have hiring algorithms that are trained on resumes from past employees. If the company historically hired mostly men, the AI might quote unquote, learn to prefer male candidates. There's also predictive policing systems that focus on areas with high crime reports, which are often over-policed to begin with, creating a feedback loop of targeting certain communities. And then there's healthcare tools that predict patient risk, but underrepresent symptoms and outcomes for women or minority groups. Now, what causes these AI biases? Well, the first one is biased training data. So basically it's garbage in and garbage out. Then there's a lack of diversity in design teams. So homogenous groups, they may not anticipate real world impacts. And then there's inadequate testing and auditing. So if you don't do any checks, there's gonna be hidden biases. Now, biases, this isn't just a bug. It's a mirror of our own societal flaws. And unless we actively address it, AI will just reinforce the same problems. All right, so next let's talk about fairness. So what does fairness mean in AI? Well, fairness, this is about treating people equitably, ensuring that AI systems do not discriminate based on race, gender, age, disability, or other protected characteristics. And all that sounds simple, right? But in practice, fairness can get really complicated because what's fair isn't always black and white. So let's say you're building an AI to screen job candidates. You might ask questions like, should the AI ignore all demographic data like race and gender, or should it consider those factors to correct past imbalances? Now, there's a big difference between equality, which is treating everyone the same, and equity, which is giving people what they need to succeed. And then there's the types of fairness in AI. So here are a few ways researchers define fairness. So we have demographic parity. And this is ensuring equal outcomes across groups, such as hiring rates for men and women. Then there's equal opportunity. This is ensuring equal chances for success, regardless of background. And then there's individual fairness. So this is saying that similar individuals, they should receive similar outcomes. 
So now the question is, how come fairness is not easy? So let's say that you create an AI model that's 95% accurate overall, and all of that sounds great. But what if it's 99% accurate for men and 85% accurate for women? Is that fair? Well, not so much. That's why fairness is more than a math problem. It's a values problem. It requires conversations about what we're optimizing for and who gets prioritized. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about transparency. So exactly what is this? So AI can be complex, like extremely complex, especially with deep learning systems like neural networks. It's hard to explain exactly why a decision was made. And that's why many AI systems, they are often called black boxes because inputs go in, a decision comes out, but no one and not even the creators fully understand what happened in between. And that's a problem, especially when the AI is deciding whether you qualify for a loan, how long your prison sentence should be, or whether your job application gets through the filter. So exactly what does transparency actually look like? Well, transparency means making it clear on how AI systems work, what data it uses and why it made a specific decision. So think about it like this. If you are denied a loan, shouldn't you have the right to know why? And if an AI tool is being used in your workplace or your child's school, don't you deserve to understand what it's doing? So now let's talk about the challenge of explainability. So this is where the concept of explainable AI comes in. Explainable AI, this focuses on designing models that can justify their decisions in understandable terms, highlight which features were most important, and help humans interpret outcomes. So it's a trade-off. Some of the most accurate models like deep neural networks are also the hardest to explain. But if people are affected by the outcome, explainability is not optional. It is essential. All right, next let's talk about accountability. So why does accountability matter? So let's say an AI powered self-driving car hits a pedestrian. Well, who's going to be responsible? Is it going to be the software developer, the car manufacturer, or the AI itself? And this question is at the core of accountability in AI, making sure someone is responsible when things go wrong. It is not just about physical harm. So think about an AI that wrongly denies unemployment benefits or a chatbot that spreads hate speech or a facial recognition system that gets someone arrested. In every case, someone needs to answer for it. Now, with accountability, this raises tough questions like should AI systems be subject to the same laws as humans? And do we need new regulations for AI accountability? And also, what role do governments play in monitoring AI systems? In some countries and regions like the European Union with its AI Act, they are starting to create legal frameworks to address these questions, but they're still in their early days. So here are some ways to build accountability. The first is through audit trails. And these are logs that show how and why decisions were made. Then there's the human in the loop system. And this is when a human reviews AI decisions before they're final. And then there's clear ownership. So organizations, they must take responsibility for the AI they deploy. Now, at the end of the day, accountability isn't about just blaming machines. It's about ensuring humans stay in charge of what AI does and does not do. So let's put all of this together. Ethical AI isn't just about better tech. It's about better choices. It means involving engineers and designers who build the systems, policymakers who set the rules, business leaders who decide how AI is used, and everyday users like you and me who are impacted by it. In ethics, it needs to be baked into AI from the very beginning, not slapped on like a Band-Aid at the very end. So exactly what can you do about this? Now, you don't have to be a programmer or data scientist to care about AI ethics. In fact, that's the whole point. These decisions, they affect everyone. So here's how you can engage. First thing you can do is ask questions. Do not blindly trust AI systems. Be curious about how they work and what their data is being used for. Advocate for transparency. So demand that the companies explain how their AI works. Promote diversity. Encourage inclusion in tech teams to reduce blind spots and improve fairness. Stay informed. So read up on new developments in AI ethics from organizations like AI Now Institute, Algorithmic Justice League, and Partnership on AI. These are all great starting points. And then most importantly, speak up. So if you see unethical uses of AI in school, work, or your community, then go ahead and say something. Now to wrap all of this up, AI is powerful, but with great power, comes great responsibility. And as we build smarter machines, you need to ask yourselves, are they making the world better for everyone? 
Are they being used fairly and responsibly? And are we holding the right people accountable? The future of AI isn't just about faster processes or better algorithms. It's about values. It's about us deciding what kind of world we want to create, making sure the technology we build reflects that vision. Because at the end of the day, AI does not have a conscious. We do. And that's why AI ethics isn't a side topic. It is the topic. Now, with all that being said, let's do some check on learning. So the first question is, so which of the following best describes algorithmic biases in the context of artificial intelligence? Is it AI systems that evolve over time based on user feedback? Is it errors in AI systems that result in consistently unfair outcomes for certain groups? Is it AI systems that require large data sets for training? Or is it AI systems that operate without human supervision? And the correct answer is it is errors in AI systems that result in consistently unfair outcomes for certain groups. So algorithmic biases, they occur when AI systems produce systematically prejudiced outcomes due to flawed data, design, or assumptions, often disproportionately affecting marginalized communities. Next question. Why is transparency important in the ethical development of AI systems? Is it it helps users understand how decisions are made and promotes trust? Is it it allows AI to outperform human intelligence? Is it it enables systems to update automatically without oversight? Or is it it ensures AI systems work faster and use fewer resources? And the correct answer is it helps users understand how decisions are made and promotes trust. So transparency, this refers to the ability to understand and trace how AI models make decisions. And this clarity is essential to building public trust and ensuring accountability in the event of harm or error. And our final question, what role does accountability play in AI ethics? Is it it allows AI systems to self-regulate without human involvement? Is it it assigns responsibility to developers or organizations for AI system outcomes? Is it it increases the speed at which AI systems can operate? Or is it it allows AI systems to learn from past decisions automatically? And the correct answer is it assigns responsibility to developers or organizations for AI system outcomes. So accountability, this ensures that if an AI system causes harm or makes a poor decision, a responsible party like a developer, company, or a regulator can be identified and held answerable. 